Greetings, administrators, faculty, friends, family, guests, and graduating seniors of the class of 2020. Welcome to the Central State University Virtual Commencement Ceremony. I know that right now is a very emotional time for everyone, and this too shall pass. For family and friends, the sense of pride you have in your graduates' accomplishments is unmeasurable. You all have a sense of joy in knowing that the individual you watch grow up or grew up with has earned a college degree. Although we are living in an unprecedented time, nothing can hinder the feeling that we have as becoming graduates. Upon arrival to Central State, many of us quickly made new friends, went to the infamous cafe, and prepared to create the greatest memories of our lives. Deep down, we were all filled with that sense of fear aching in the pit of our stomachs. The fear of the unknown, the fear of failure, and the fear of nobody waking us up for our eight o'clock classes. <laughs> However, today we face the fear of battling COVID-19, not finding the ideal job or having the opportunity to create those monumental memories that we expected to experience as graduating seniors. I discovered from my most challenging time experiencing fear is to not live in it, overcome and prevail by not giving up, establishing a positive support system and working hard to push beyond your limits. Shortly into the beginning of my second year here at Central State and my first year as a resident advisor, I discovered that I was going to become a mother. Fear instantly set in and I thought to myself, what was I going to do? How was I going to finish school? What were people going to think about me? I immediately consulted with my mother and others close to me about my options. Their words of encouragement and guidance filled me with so much confidence, love, and most importantly, faith. With having such an amazing support system, I was able to create a wonderful strategic plan that allowed me to graduate ahead of time, as well as transition comfortably into commuter life. However, less than two months after finishing up the 2019 spring semester, I had just been in my third car accident within six months, lost my home to the Memorial Day tornadoes, and started entering deep into postpartum depression, as well as experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder. At this point, the enormous amounts of faith and confidence I once had began to rapidly diminish. I worked so hard in my classes, maintained a healthy pregnancy for the entire nine months, and still gave to others even when I had nothing, but yet I could not figure out what went wrong. I could not digest why all these traumatic events were happening to me. With the armor of God and by His grace, I believed no weapon formed against me would prosper. I took things one day at a time, letting go of the stress and pressures I had placed upon myself. Through journaling, therapy, and other healthy outlets, I was able to rebuild my mental health and push through. Whatever obstacles you encounter along your journey, you have to know that there is a way over, around, or through them. These obstacles do not inhibit your progress, but they can inhibit your confidence. Take action, be accountable, and be responsible. Every person you have connected with, and everything that you've ever accomplished is the result of you taking action. You have a choice. You can either be the passive victim of your circumstances or you can be the active soldier for your own life. Just keep in mind, what you perceive as going wrong is usually the very reason that other things are going right. Thank you again to all of those who have helped me to achieve great things and perform at my highest potential. I'm very honored and humbled to be recognized as the top scholar of the graduating class of 2020. To be honest, I did not expect it, but as the old saying goes, expect the unexpected. Always remember, for we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed, we are perplexed, but not in despair. To my peers, do not lose sight of your goals and do not forget all that you have accomplished. As students of Central State University, we've learned a primary lesson from each other, and that's to be resilient in any situation. We all have the capacity of doing great things. We've already proven that through our attendance here today. But don't ever underestimate the power you have to be successful. You are now a Centralian for God, for Central, for State.